Tyler with your design company. So you can see we kind of got a demo room here with some speakers, some of the install templates, stuff for testing. But what we're going to do today on this video is show you two tricks on installing like a four inch flush can light in the ceiling. Maybe you're going to do a small aperture speaker. So when we're doing these in a job, we buy a basic Amazon hole saw. So this is a $15 hole saw that we can use and, you know, a dozen times without it going dull, perfect for drywall. And then we'll mount this Brio Spectrum can in there. The next option I'm going to show you is a little more advanced where we actually have a template that we will double back to the ceiling and then use a hole saw to pop that in. Now we do that on more fragile finishes, a cedar ceiling or something like that. But I wanted to show you how that works so you can see another method to do it. Maybe you're concerned that you're going to drywall in and pop this, which will just walk across the drywall. Uh, that would be bad, obviously. By using this second method and building a template, then you're not going to have that option and you don't risk messing the ceiling up at all. So I'll show you a couple images in the video of how we've done this, but it's a real solid, easy solution. And then we'll cut another one in here. So first thing you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to confirm that your template's the right size. So see, we're using an American lighting spectrum comes with the template. And then you can see fits just almost perfect in that. So we know this whole saw is good for that. The other thing we actually do on the jobs is we'll write four inch Brio on here. So we know that this is for a four inch Brio down the road. Now our second step, and we've got a video on this is we like to use drum liners. And I'll show you why we like to use a drum liner on cutting stuff like this in or a ceiling speaker in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this black drop cloth over. And if you can look at it I'll down here, you can note that it's pretty darn clean, barely any dust on it. And then what I'll do is I'll tilt the camera up more, actually at the work area. And so I'm going to show you our couple tricks on how we cut stuff into ceilings. You can probably cut one of these in above a grand piano black and really eliminate most of all your dust. So we've got a big, huge opening here. So then our next step, and you would do this on any job, is just to make sure that you check out where your studs are at, your joists. So we got one right there. It looks like we're clear right to about here with some blocking. So we're going to mark this stud here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come off a common wall and find our center. So we're going to look up. The center of our speaker is 30 and a half. And from the center of the wall to the edge of the speaker is 28 and a half. So we're going to come over. We're going to make a mark at 14 and a quarter. I'm going to double check. It's 30 and a half. Come back over 30 and a half. Now we have almost an exact spot where we want to cut and pop in our speaker, or excuse me, our light can. And then the real goal here is again to use the blue tape to your advantage. So again, I've got my bag here. I'm going to pull off four chunks of tape about that length. And I'll show you why we do this. Keep dust down. A lot of the jobs we do are retrofit. You can't have dust in a new home like that. And so I will literally tape the inside there. I'm going to go right here with it. And I'm actually going to take and turn it into a little box. So I'm going to go right here with it. Same thing. I'm going to come across here. And then I'm going to take my last piece, come across here. And then I'm going to double check, make sure I don't need any more tape. It looks like it's a little loose in one area, so I'll come back in. I'll tape that. Now I can, this is clear, so I can see my opening right here. So then what I'll do is I'll grab a drill. Make sure the chuck's nice and tight. And then what you want to do is grab 
razor blade, razor knife, anything you got. So a little Ofla cutter. You're going to want to make a slice in this. So got a nice little opening here. And again, we have our hole here. Now that's forward. I'm actually going to drop this thing into reverse. We're going to take this inside of our bag. Now we're going to take the bag and wrap this around our hand. And then we're going to look for our center opening right there. So we're going to run it in reverse because it will go through drywall, no problem. We're going to run it right until it catches. Back it out a little bit. So we just spun it backwards just for a second. And then now using this, we're just going to take our whole saw. Clear out a little dust. We're actually through already. And now while my drill is still on my hand, I'm going to take and pull this ceiling down. And I've alleviated most of the dust. Now I was kind of even being reckless on that. Then I would end up taking this outside or to another plastic bag, empty it all out, and I'm good to go. So again, drop cloth, you can look down here, there's still very minimal dust. I'm gonna just fold this down real quick. I think you can see it. And then you can see we have almost a perfect hole here. Still minimal dust. We can just take this. And since it's a whole saw, it's gonna come right out. You see this room had some insulation in it. Now what I'm not gonna do is show you the wiring. So obviously if we're doing this, we're up in a ceiling or you've already got some wires pulled apart. Maybe there was a real weird area where you couldn't get a light can bracket in here. So we would retrofit that over to a crawl space and drop that in. We'd set this to the side in our garbage bag. Probably wipe our hands off at that point. And then the cool thing about the Brio from American Lighting, you technically if you weren't a licensed electrician or you were a homeowner that was concerned, half inch knockouts in a bunch of different spots. So you got your half inch knockouts and then this just wires in with Romex. Got a little keyed insert here that plugs in. And then you thread this over, that locks it in place. And then this guy slides up into your ceiling. And then I like to slide it over so it's flat. Now if you're doing this in a home theater, you would end up taking and putting some double back on here so that this can't rattle and go. In this case, this is a demo room, we're not gonna do that. Pop our wings up and we have one installed light can, so pretty nice. We pull our blue tape off. We come back through and vacuum. And so you saw what I did there. I'm gonna grab the camera off the tripod. So one light can installed. That's all the dust we have. So easy enough to vacuum up. So that's the first part of this video. The second part of this video, I'm gonna show you how and why we use this. We're going to cut another hole right here and we're just going to assume this is a very high end finish. Maybe this is a teak or a cedar ceiling and we're going to show you why I would use one of these templates.